If you're looking to start the violin and need an instrument, which one do you get? Do you buy one? Do you rent one? Do you borrow one? What's the deal? I'm going to do a whole series of videos. Um, you can find all this information out um, on my website, the Fiddle Jam Institute, and a special page called Buy or Borrow. So um, we're going to go through all those things, whether you get the right size, the right quality, whether you're wasting your money on a super cheap one or not, you know, all the particulars of the wood and the, the bow and the parts that you need. Um, if you're going to rent one, what to get, where to go, what size. Um, if you're going to pull grandpa's out of the out of the closet that's been in there 30 years, is it playable? I'm going to go over all these things. Or whether you should just skip all that and get an electric violin that's silent and plug in and only hear yourself in your headphones. Um, all these things are options. Um, and I'll go over all these points for you on the website. Um, Fiddle Jam Institute with a special page slash bar, buy or borrow. That's Fiddle Jam Institute slash B-U-Y-O-R-B-O-R-R-O-W. Buy or borrow. Fiddle Jam Institute, buy or borrow. Check it out if you're ready to buy an instrument, get an instrument to, to be able to take lessons. Maybe you're going to take my course, the Bucket List Fiddle Jam. Maybe you're looking to just get one for your child. All the information is there. The best information I know. I've been playing for 50 years and have been around this stuff and have had thousands of students myself and helped them out with this very subject. So Fiddle Jam Institute slash buy or borrow, and you'll have a full report of multiple videos and different subjects on this very thing. All right, hope that helps.